Hey guys, it's Pamela Ware. I'm back for my third video. I hope you guys enjoyed the first two. I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. I have not been feeling very uh, great these days. Um, staying inside is really draining me. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure everyone's feeling the same way. Um, so I think we all just have to find something that'll get us out of our rut. For me, I've been doing a lot of puzzles baking a lot um, and I think doing these videos is actually therapeutic because it actually spends a lot of time um, on the editing and all that so for me it's a lot of fun and it gets my head out of all of the bad stuff that's been happening lately so yeah so I hope you guys really enjoy my videos a lot of feedback would be nice um, yeah so today since I'm not feeling that great, I'm actually just gonna make something easy. So I'm gonna make some muffins. Some that I've never actually made before. I'm gonna make coconut mango muffins. So yeah, they're gonna be healthy. I'm gonna use um, yogurt and oats, no sugar, uh, a bit of honey. So yeah, so hopefully you guys are able to do the recipe and enjoy. today I'm gonna to use one cup of oats, one cup and one tablespoon of flour, a third cup of honey, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter cup of milk, two eggs, um, one cup of Greek yogurt, about one cup of mangoes, uh, one teaspoon of coconut extract, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're gonna start by mixing the dry ingredients inside of the large bowl. So we're gonna put the flour, the oats, with the salt, and the baking powder. And we're gonna mix it So once the dry ingredients are mixed, we're gonna grab another bowl and we're gonna put all the wet ingredients in it. We're gonna start with the eggs. vanilla and coconut extract. tired but it's all well mixed it smells delicious and now I'm just gonna chop up the mango pieces and put them inside and mix it even more all right so I'm gonna put the mangoes inside the bowl and then we're just gonna fold them in lightly to not over mix the batter and we're gonna pop them in the pan and then in the oven Some people like to use the paper for the muffin cups, but I just usually lightly grease the pan. That way we don't waste paper and it comes out fast. So now we're just gonna evenly put the batter inside the muffin cups and then we're gonna pop it in the oven at 350, which I already preheated. All right, 
So once these are beautifully done inside the pan, we're gonna pop them in the oven and let them bake till perfection. So we're gonna let these bake for 18 to 20 minutes and then we're gonna let them cool down and then I'll let you know how they taste. Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. I think they're ready. We're just gonna put the toothpick in and if it comes out dry, we can take them out. They look good. So we're just gonna wait and then I'll let you know. It's taste test. Not bad. Tastes healthy, it's not sweet. It's good for a breakfast. Maybe next time I'll add a bit of protein powder in it, it'll make it even better. So, if you guys enjoyed my video, like, subscribe, stay home, wash your hands, and everyone stay safe.